Hello everybody and welcome to the Amazon Advertising Weekly Update. I hope everybody's well and oh, it's, it's in a good mood. Um, it's episode 11 already. I cannot believe this, that we're already, uh, yeah, mid of February. And yeah, welcome you everybody who's uh, joining this live session. Today we'll be focusing on sponsored brands. There are some latest updates that I want to talk about with you and share my opinion on and yeah, sum them up. Uh, first of all, my name is Florian. I'm co-founder and co-CEO of Adference. And yeah, if you have any questions during this session, just leave a comment. I am willing to answer them as quick and good as possible. And if you see this video later on in a recording, then just send me a PM, no problem at all. I will try to answer this as well. And yeah, let's get right into it. So um, I need to make sure that I share my screen. There it is. And let's get it um, going. So. Focus today, sponsor brands. Um, there are three things that I want to talk about today. The first thing is the major, huge, aw awesome update um, that was um, released later, uh, earlier this week, and it's about suggested headlines. I will show you what it is, what it is about, how you can use it, and what are maybe some drawbacks of this. And <clears throat> because there is so much happening in sponsored brands and maybe some people don't know all the little betas, little um, optimizations that they can use. I want to shortly recap some small features and actually that may have a huge impact on your performance and the scalability of your campaigns. I'm talking about product optimization feature and custom image beta. So let's get right into it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment. So. First, the biggest news is actually the suggested headlines for sponsored brands. And thanks to Nayo from Better AMS, who saw this first, um, if I remember it correctly. Thank you very much for sharing this and um, spreading the word. What is it all about? Well, <clears throat> if you start creating a sponsored brands campaign, um, now Amazon is now providing you some suggestions to write a better headline. So actually there are up to three suggestions and, and it's totally based um, on the, it's based on the products that you selected in your, um, for your sponsored uh, um, brands campaign. And yeah, actually that's a nice feature because you are able here to, um, yeah, get some um yeah some some inspiration you can maybe scale this up i will talk about the possibilities later on but first of all what i find interesting that i only find this feature um in us only so i, I haven't seen this in um, europe accounts so far and actually <laughs> it's um uh, i find it only in a similar um a niche or product category as nio did um so <laughs> i don't know maybe amazon only is rolling this out for the baking um or kitchen product um, product groups so let's see how this evolves but first if you want to see this um and have a look at this um, maybe you you don't see it right now because uh, it seems like this has only been rolled out so far for a limit very limited um, product categories and sellers so far. But what I can say, <clears throat> what I've seen so far is that the suggestions that Amazon provides are pretty, pretty good. Actually, I like them very much. They're very good written, very well written. You can somehow immediately use them or use them as a good inspiration um, source. And you must know that Amazon says, okay, um, or what, what I've seen is, that the suggestions that they provide, of course, is based on the product selection that you did when you put the products in your product uh, sponsor brands campaign. Okay. And also the order of your products has influence on the headline suggestions. And what I find really interesting is that this feature is not marked as beta. It's marked as new. So, Amazon must, whether it has been there for a long time as beta and no one recognized this, 
<laughs> before or Amazon is pretty sure that this is working pretty nice. And f so far, I would say it's a good feature and um, there are some benefits. Why do I like it very much? Well, <clears throat> you can start scaling up your sponsor brands campaigns and the whole sponsor brands creation process. And you know, we as a tool provider, if we think about this uh, and Amazon opens this um, and it integrates this in their API, well, that would be awesome because then you can really great sca start scaling your sponsor brands creation process if you haven't done this already. But um, so this is very nice and it's a good source of inspiration because as I said, actually the headline suggestions are pretty, pretty good. Um, and there, but there are some drawbacks. Um, and actually uh, one drawback is that this is not working together with the product optimization feature. And you know, now you would say, okay, product optimization feature, what is it? What is it all about? Well, this is why I um, so thought, okay, maybe we did a, do a little recap here. Recap product optimization for sponsored brands. What is this? <clears throat> if you um, look, start creating your sponsored brands campaigns. You see this small, actually, ah, it's not very well that I uh, graded out. You see this small checkbox here where you can say, well, I want the product optimization feature. And if you activate this, what is actually happening? What, what is this all about this feature? Actually, it's a pretty nice feature, but let me explain why it is, uh, what it is. First of all, what does Amazon say? Amazon says the products that appear in your ad may be replaced with product from your landing page if those products are more relevant to the shopper's search query. So what you do is actually you start putting all, you can add multiple products in your landing page, but Amazon decides if you activate this, which products it, um, they pick to be shown in your ad, depending on the search term the user's performing. So this is real-time optimization. And this is awesome. So, and uh, furthermore, it uh, replaced the selected products with products from your landing page if they are more relevant to the shopper's search. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So you can add a lot of products actually, uh, all your long tail in one campaign and let Amazon do the work for you somehow. It's not um, something that I would prefer doing on your main products and your main keywords, but it's a great way to tackle your long tail and, with, and, and make it work with sponsored brands. So why is it awesome? Amazon selects the right product at the ad, the right ad for the search query. <clears throat> um, so this is awesome. So Amazon is optimizing the ad for us, but if you selected this feature, then you won't be able to make use of the um, um, suggestions anymore that I presented you earlier. So you must know this, um, that actually this is not compatible and be aware of when you use this feature, you must pick a very good headline that works for all the products, right? So because it's one headline for maybe dozens of products. And I expect a feature here in the future, in the future from Amazon that does the headline creation um, automatically based on the products so that we don't have to write an individual headline anymore. It's optional, but this is what I expect in the future because uh, it would help so much, so many advertisers to scale their sponsor brands creation process. So this is that. And the second thing that I want to tackle is because it's still labeled as beta and I don't know why, um, is the custom image beta. And I cannot um, mention this enough because it's a great way to get more awareness and increase your CTR. It's in the sponsor brands creation process in the bottom, you see a very small hint, a custom image beta where you can include a custom image and support for supported placements. So you can add a great lifestyle picture to, to your sponsor brands campaigns, and this will make your um, ads way more appealing and way more um, natural. And you will 
I strongly suggest and recommend that you put lifestyle images there, images in the product use, for example, like we see here in my example for barbecue sauce. And yeah, I strongly suggest that you use this as well, because actually it's a great way to increase CTR and uh, also increase awareness with this feature. And actually that's it for today. It's a short episode. It's a short update about sponsored brands and the suggested headlines. I can really recommend checking this feature and um, yeah, try this out when you have um, access to it, especially um, because it's a great source of inspiration. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and stay healthy and have a great rest time of the week. See you next week, 5 p.m. Central European uh, winter time and uh, see you next week. Bye bye.